may bring to mind this or this, but probably not this. Of course, you're one of three labs and a data coordination center involved in the Knockout Mouse Project, also known as COMP, funded by the National Institutes of Health Common Fund. And that's where we get to these guys. While they may simply look like rodents to you, mice are some of the most powerful tools that scientists have in learning about genes and the genetics of human disease, and about discovering new treatments. So COMP researchers are studying 2,500 genes in mice that may hold scientific secrets that could someday save lives. The goal is to create a knockout mouse for each targeted gene by inactivating it, which will provide researchers with valuable information about what that gene actually does and how it might contribute to all sorts of problems like cancer, infertility, and obesity. Each of the three lab groups is working on 833 genes over the course of five years. This pilot phase will lead to another five years and another 5,000 more knockout strains. All the data is collected, analyzed, and made freely available by the COMP-funded Data Coordination Center. And all mice are available to any researcher who wants them. And to maximize its value, COMP is cooperating globally with other groups through the International Mouse Phenotyping Consortium to phenotype every gene in the mouse genome. So in short, someday these little critters could play a huge role in knocking out some of humankind's most debilitating diseases. Think that's impressive? Here's what we've already accomplished in just three short years.